Oh, good afternoon. And yes, it's afternoon. Outrageous setting off up at a mountain in the afternoon. But I'm just going to do Ling Mill. Last one of the holiday, which is a shame, but um, we went for a family walk out on Drig Beach uh, just now, just before. And that was nice. That was Siggy the dog's first kind of proper introduction to beach sand and little waves. So she had a paddle in the surf and then a swim in a rock pool. So she did really well. Um, so yeah, doing Ling Mel. Um, it's very warm now. Sun's behind the clouds, but it's quite muggy. Um, so I'm gonna, that's Ling Mel, Ling Mel Crags up there. That's where we're going. And I'm gonna go up uh, the Piers Gill path. It's up the side of Piers Gill, because I haven't come back this holiday yet. So we're gonna be doing that. And then straight back down the kind of grassy nose of Ling Mill. Uh, so yeah, pretty fairly easy run. It's going to be obviously a bit of a climb up here, Gill, but uh, should be good. A good one to finish on. Plus, I don't want really stiff legs in the morning because I've then got a what seven and a half, eight hours worth of a drive tomorrow. So don't want to be doing that with stiff legs. That's for sure. So here we are, just with Piers Gill. We're going up that side of it, and we've just come up from the bottom of the valley down there. And there's Gable. Ooh. It's less of a run, more of a fast saunter. So, uh, up to the front and scramble. I'm going to scramble up that bit. And we've got a little bit of sunshine, which is very nice. Makes a change. And nice for the uh, last walk slash run of the holiday. So we are going up there. So I'm going to hold you more than with my sticks. So I've got a spare hand to climb with. Keep pausing, check which way you're going. Oh, is that another one coming up or is it coming back up the valley? Oh no, it's gone all over Kirkvale. He's uh, practicing his drops. little bit more careful in my trainers than I am normally in my walking boots because the the grip is just that little bit different it's uh, yeah because the grips are a little bit softer it doesn't feel quite as secure when you're just on the edge of your trainers you're on the edge of the sole that's the main scramble done we're going up there and that's back down to down to the depths of Piers Gill. Ooh. Beautiful. So we're at the top of Piers Gill. We've just got a scooch around the top of it on that bit of path there. And then uh, the main path up to Scarfell Pike goes round. I'm just going to cut round that little knoll, follow that um, old dry stone wall over, and then it's uh, straight down the grass. There you go. 
top of Piers Gill. Well, there's the usual motorway of people behind me going up Scarfell Pike, particularly on a day with weather like this. So I'm glad I'm not going that way. Now I was just going to go straight down the grass and down the nose of Ling Mel, but I'm only a couple hundred metres from the top of Ling Mel, so I may as well do the top and then I can drop down. I can just make out the uh, kind of silhouette of the Isle of Man. You won't be able to see it on this, the wide angle won't show that. But... So, just going up there. There's the top of Ling Mel. And there's the view down to Wasdale. It's got the screes, U Barrow. If you watch my uh, Mosdale horseshoe one, that's the whole way around the horseshoe. But Ling Mel is a often missed fell. It's uh, such amazing views because it's kind of attached to Scarfell Pike. A lot of people don't bother with it, which is a shame because it's a lovely fell. So I've just got to drop down that way. I'm just over the nose of Ling Mel, which is just up that way. So I'm literally just dropping straight down, following these people down, and then onto the main path, down to the car park, and then back to the cottage. And then that'll be it for the holiday. So, uh, and then it's uh, bath and gin time. Woohoo! That's it, most of the downhill done. It's just got this style to go. And then, uh, now we're just going to get to the path there and then follow it down to the car park and we are all done one of these days I'll be able to run in a bit of wind without my nose running Almost back down. Right to the bottom. It's always uh, so exhilarating running down mountains. Controlled crashing is what I call it. Controlled because hopefully you're not going to fall over, but crashing because you're kind of out of control, which isn't too bad until you have to stop. You've always got to look ahead because if you need to slow down because somebody's in front that's when you're more likely to slide or just crash into them <laughs> which either wouldn't be good so here we are there's the main car park and there's the cottage up at the uh, farm so i'll say to see you later well, it's always what the same same what they say always be careful at the end of holidays Literally, last 30 yards of scrabbly downhill and ended up flat on my face with a nice little, oh look, a nice little slide on my side down the screen. <laughs> the last run of the holiday, last video of the holiday, I think number eight and a fall on the final bit of downhill. Ah, oh. hey ho, that's gonna be sore when I get in the bath. <laughs> See you later.